If you thought that James Hardy for 87 was cut and dried, think again. Might be cut. 110, 161 laps completed, and what looks like a, a fierce storm moving in over Mount Panorama. Spots of rain already appearing on the screen of Glenn Seaton's uh, Peter Jackson Nissan Skyline. And along, take... along the pit lane, Mark, uh, the team managers frantic, the crews getting out the wet weather tyres in preparation for a swarm of pit stops as the showers sweep in, driven by a very strong west to southwest wind. The flag standing out, the spectators running for cover. There isn't too much of it around here. Steve Soper. Steve is a very good wet weather driver, but he won't be looking forward to this at all. That's what he'll be looking forward to, rain tyres. BMW wet weather tyres already out, and his co-drivers, of course, the Eggenberger team. Just a section of the huge crowd here on the mountain today. So for some of the, uh, the Texaco Sierra drivers, or two in particular, they could have a very wet class. There is just nowhere on top of the uh, mountain or indeed in some of the areas here at the bottom of uh, oh, Conrad Strait. Uh, look at that. It's really starting to get quite heavy. Certainly is. They're making the run down through uh, Caltex Chase now to the left hander. You can expect to see an absolute uh, belt in here to the pits by all of the leading cars. There's not too many of them uh, will want to stay out on this circuit. Maybe on some of the more forgiving racetracks you would stay out on, uh, on dry rubber, on slicks. But our race leader Soper's going to go again. So indeed is the Peter Brock uh, car with David Parsons at the wheel. And look, this is the old oh, race cam and that car starting to slip slide very badly. It's sideways coming out of there, almost got the tail on the wall. I bet she doesn't go another lap. No, if it looks simple at home, when we take outside shots of the cars, it really gives you a whole new dimension when we take uh, the race cam to show you how hard the driver is working behind the wheel just to try and keep that car straight. Just look at the way this is wobbling around, coming up on the BMW M3. Absolutely no heroics over this part of the racetrack. Seaton's game, isn't he? I hope he doesn't overdo it. It was the 41 car with one Manuel Fangio behind the wheel and uh, Seaton now coming up on the Nissan Gazelle. Giving it to go by, very short order. This is the worry, this corner here. Because you've got to really get in tight. Now coming out, there's not much room. You don't want to get the tail out there. Out of Toledo turn. The number 15, Peter Jackson Nissan. BP race cam, that's the shot. Very murky. Persistent rain, although that one big... Oh, uh, he's got it gee. sideways. Had to fight for that to get it back on the road. Very dramatic pitches coming to you. Adam Dangerous Lee. moments here. Neil Crompton is in the pits, standing by for what will be a spate of pit stops for uh, wet weather rubber. Although the only thing I must say... It's starting to clear again. It's starting to clear, so whether or not the, the smart ones will stay out. Not only that, it's different on two parts of the circuit. Over the top of the mountain, it's wet. On this part of the circuit, as you can see, looking at the picture now, it's relatively dry. And it's Seaton hardly has, a spot of rain. Yeah, Seaton's going round again and uh, just waved, indicated to his pits there as he went by. He'll want to stay out there and so I wanted to other people to make quite sure that it either is going to rain or it isn't going to rain because if you go in the pits and you change onto wets, they do not last very long on a dry road or half wet, half dry, come to that. You can see the track heading up Mount Panorama. To that point anyway, was uh, reasonably dry from here on in though. Glenn taking it very cautiously through here. That's sideways. Now, if he's having problem with the turbo Nissan, you can imagine the strife that Steve Soper is having with wheel spin in the Sierra. Every time they change gear, Oh, goodness. Oh. I used to drive a go-kart. He's as safe as the Bank of England. Well, I hope you're right. He's a, one of the good old boys from karting, Glenn. I hope, hope you're right for Pete Gibson's the, sake. Oh, don't prove me wrong, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Now, 
you can see the dilemma. Does he go into the pits and he'll have to put wets on? He's going to wind up with a bigger problem. He's going to be out of tyres, then given another 10 laps because the track will be dry. Well, if you look at the screen, the rain has stopped now. He's switched the wiper off, so obviously there's not so much rain on the top of the mountain, so I would say that they'll all stay on dry tyres. Probably. For the time being. This must be really giving our European drivers a thrill. <laughs> well, of course, they're, they're a bit more used to this sort of weather than, uh, than perhaps you are.